welcome everyone to jay's biology youtube channel so in this video we will go through the process of application submission that is uh, sub applying for different programs at acsir so let us go to the acsir website so in admission section online admission portal so when the page is opened there is some pop up here you need to go through all these things so i'll just uh, make some things clear for you so welcome to acsir online admission portal the admission process you you need to follow these phases the first one is sign up phase where you need to actually create an account for submitting on an application and the second phase is filling your online application for different program and then submitting it Up along with this there are some important things given keep visiting the admission portal regularly so that you will come to know the different updates and informations which are being regu regularly updated on this website and uh, no email will be sent to you unless you are shortlisted for some uh, interview so till then you need to keep on visiting this website to get the notifications you will not get any personal notifications as far as the very previous that is august 2020 attempt was done so for each program of study see this should be very clear to you for each program of study so whether it is iddp or phd in engineering or phd in um, phd in sciences or whatever if you are eligible for any all of the programs you can uh, go and uh, submit all your applications based on the eligibility so we have seen eligibility criteria in uh, our previous videos so if you are eligible for all the programs feel free to go and apply for all them all of them probably you will not be eligible for all of them based on the eligibility criteria so if you are eligible for more than one program also you can apply but only one application per program is allowed and it is very important if you at any point of time apply for the same program with more than one applications then the candidate will be rejected this point is very important and then shortlisted candidates will be intimate, uh, intimated electronically and they will be required to appear for the test and or or interview so the admitting institute may conduct a test or directly an interview based on the results and uh, the dates will be announced in the final round of things will be done that is either test or interview and finally selections will be made yeah. this also is very important uh, the last thing is also very important the number of seats available in each program at each institute may vary so the acsir does not uh, confirm the number of seats it is going to provide from any labs so it will be uh, varying every year so they may the labs may decide their requirements as and when and how, however they want to so going to these things the eligibility for phd sciences sponsored phd sciences or engineering or iddp whatever be these things are already covered in the previous videos uh, the important dates here this is also an important panel all your notifications come under this panel please note this the inter in important instructions that we read so far will be there here tomorrow when once your uh, results come all those things will also will be updated here only important instructions important dates for january 2021 session the for all the programs it's uh, the same for all the programs you can just have a look starting date is 15th sub october 2020 to 15th november 2020 so hardly some 4 to 5 days are remaining and for august session okay uh, probably they will uh, 
again change this things later but for august section this may not be the case so we will not think about august section now now we can just see about the january 2021 which is very close to us so after all this is done you need to sign up signing up is not something very unusual to today's generation so it is very easy signing up new sign new user and then select the session august uh, it's better you go for the recent session only that is very next coming session upcoming session and select the course you need to sign up every time for every new course you are going to apply for okay so this is uh, whichever so i will be going for uh, ph uh, better say iddp iddp program enter student's name i will be entering my name here uh, sign up session page so i have filled all the details here right i have given some dummy numbers and i'll be changing it okay, so that you can take some time and enter the correct details and come back so pause the video and come back after you have completed your primary registration and i'll be waiting for you in the next part for completing the application